Hey guys, it's Derek the Dragon, and I have an MP5K. Don't ask why, because I really don't know either. It's just a sexy gun, what can I say? Anyway, the point of this video is because I get a comment that'll... Two comments that kind of make me laugh. Uh, one comment that'll be like, You must love your job, dude. I mean, you get a hands-on with all these guns. Yes, true. Uh, but I'll talk about the other aspect of that, too. And the second comment is, you need to get a job, son. Go play the toys. And that comment I normally just remove and tell them they go away because they have no idea what I do. Uh, but this is a video trying to explain exactly what I do. So first things first, uh, the actual ordering. Like I said, I have the special order program, so everything normally gets ordered on Monday, sometimes later in the week, though. But normally Monday is when I get it ordered. Uh, this is about $4,000 to $8,000 going in and out of about four or five different companies weekly. I have to track the money, where it goes, who it's going to, what are they doing, the products coming in, where the products will be going, and once they do get here, I'll have to follow what goes to what, print out all the shipping labels, get FedEx to come here the next day, email the tracking numbers to all the people, and uh, these are normally about 20 to 50 orders a week. So that part really gives me a headache, and then I'll have to deal with the customer service of the customers actually calling me about every single day. I get somewhere around 50 calls a day, people just going, hey, where's my stuff? I ordered it like three days ago, I'm wondering the tracking number, uh, blah, blah, blah. And people don't realize I'm going to send them a tracking number when I ship it anyway, so by calling me, all you're doing is spamming my voicemail. Um, second thing, yeah, and, and the thing that really gives me a big headache is trying to sort out who's being, and this is very organized. I am probably the most organized person when it comes to this specifically and it still gives me a headache because I have to figure out out of all the orders and everything I'm getting what needs to be shipped out, what needs to stay in stock, what has been ordered from what company, and how much it costs, um, the actual profit I'm making off of it, which is normally not a lot what you, especially not compared to what you think I would make, and don't ask how much that is, I can't really say, um, and all that stuff. So again, that's about 20, 50 orders a week. Sometimes those can get, those can get backed up because I can't get a lot of things in stock, and that's really where it starts to get annoying. Uh, say CYMA's M14, which is a really hard thing to get in stock lately, and by the way, I can't get in stock until like the next two weeks. I can guarantee I'm going to have a lot of people that are going to be ordering that, and I'll tell them, hey, I can't get it, so I either have to refund you or you have to get a different one. So, however... This is still in stock, though. So far, model. Yeah, I have to deal with all that. And on top of doing all that, especially customer service is really the thing that will give you the least amount of patience out of anything. On top of doing all that, I've been running from meeting to meeting, dealing with my providers, and uh, mainly trying to get a storefront. I'm not really trying, more or less seeing what's the best for what I am looking for. All the, I have to keep a close eye on my money, too, because not all of it just goes straight to the store, because I have to stay alive, I have to eat, and I have to pay my rent. Okay, and all of that, after I get all the orders and whatnot, I have to make videos on every single gun I haven't made a video of, which is, this is why I stopped making the special orders, it takes too much, or not the special orders, this is why I stopped making those uh, shoutouts, it takes too much time, I don't have time to do it anymore. But, um, oh, and once everything comes in, I have to test them to make sure they work. That takes a lot of time. And then, with guns I haven't gotten in before, this is really where it gets time consuming, I have to make the videos for them. I make three videos per each gun, sometimes more. It takes 20 minutes to 40 minutes filming, the, that's, that's just filming the re, those videos, depending on if it's a review, accuracy test, or chrono. Chrono is the shortest, normally it takes around 20 minutes to film it. However, it takes a good long time to set all these videos up. Uh, normally it's an all-day activity and all-night activity, because it takes about a good four or six hours just to film about three of the videos. That's just for one gun. And then I have to edit the videos. Now, if the film is about 40 minutes long, I have to watch the whole thing and cut certain parts out and cut certain things in, which takes somewhere around an hour, hour 15 minutes, just to do all of that stuff. And that's not because my computer is slow in any way, my computer is really fast, that's just because that's how time consuming it is. So that's all the work I have to do with the editing videos. And then I have to upload them to YouTube, enable them from revenue sharing, um, and then I have to deal with all the dumb comments that I get after that which is why I turn off the comments the next day and I don't have time to just watch all the comments I get um, and then after it and then I have to wait for it to get done processing so it turns in HD and so I can put it on my website which I have to edit after that which takes a, a pretty dang good long long time too 
And sometimes when pro when uploading my uh, my website, it likes to be stupid and say it didn't upload correctly. So that's when you see all the the buttons are weird, and there'll be an HTML and different things on certain pages, and it doesn't look right, and it's it just looks weird, like something messed up, because that's what happened. So I have to deal with all that, and then after that, the whole process starts over, because I have to deal with who's ordering what, and blah blah blah. And uh, when I update my site, I have to keep up with um, what items are in stock and what has on special order. Uh, keep items that I want in stock, say the J JGM 4S system, compared to items that aren't selling as well, so I have to watch that too. So basically, this is a whole. This job takes a lot more people than just me. But it is just me doing everything up until I get my storefront. So as of right now, I'm just kind of holding on and going, okay, when is, my, when is the late September going to come? Because uh, that's the day it's, it's looking like it's going to be about the last weekend of September. It's looking somewhere around there. Uh, no complete thing. That's the ETA. We don't have a set date yet. So that's that's pretty much everything I do. There are quite a few things that I've, I've missed. That's just my business. I do a lot of things other than that. Uh, but that's my private life, so I shouldn't, don't really need to go into that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a, as short as I can get it trying to explain everything I do. Again, wait till I get a storefront in September. This shouldn't decoy you from ordering from Red Dragon Airsoft. That just means you'll get better service because it'll be straight from me. Uh, so I know exactly what's going on. I shouldn't be completely confused. Of course, I can't remember everything because of everything that goes on. But, it's going to be nice to have employees to set everything up. Uh, things are going to be less headacheful, and it's going to be a lot smoother. So that's the end of this video. Um, I might be having new videos later this week for something new. I think I might. Yes, I will. Uh, late this week, I am getting a SIG 556 in. So I'll see you guys later this week.